Peter LaFrance here for BeerBasics.com and this is Meeting Expectations Tasting Notes. If this is the first time you're visiting, don't forget to hit the, hit the subscribe button down there. That way you won't miss any of the tastings. We're here at the Henry Street Ale House where every week we do Meeting Expectations where we take a look at the labels on a beer bottle or in this case it's friends and fermentation and so we're taking a look at a spirits bottle and see if it can, if it can meet expectations today it's going to be a comparison of the Laphroaig 16 year old there's a tag up there that will tell you where our tasting notes were the last time and the Laphroaig 30 year old all right Behind the bar today we have Jerry Scott and on this side of the bar Kim Bennett and Rod Point. All right now we're gonna break open this LaFroig 16 and revisit it and see what we've got. Here we go now let's take a look the 16 is as I see on here it is 48 percent by volume it is a relatively light colored as we remember it light and clear it's not an IPA that's for sure <laughs> it's not, it's not, not a New England IPA for sure oh. All very right. smoky, smoky. Yeah. Yeah. oh there very it is smoky, yep. yeah. what do you guys get off of the nose on this one getting off on the nose smoke okay. little iodine little, yeah. uh, definitely smoky smoky like it All yeah. right. And the first taste. Okay. I find a lot of smoke, a little bit of oil on that. It's definitely a full bodied, it fills your mouth yeah. with a lot more than just the alcohol. What do you think? Uh, it's got, well, it's got the sweet flavor from the um, scotch, and the, the smoky flavor. Uh, it's nicely blended together. Um, it's smooth. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, uh, I would definitely endorse the smoothness and uh, definitely warms the gullet on the yep. way down. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> so it's nice for a day like this. Nice, nice on a winter day. Warm the like cockpit without heart. that. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, <laughs> now. <laughs> now we have. We've, we've, this is that, we've just tried the baseline there, the 16, and now it's the De La 30. That's some baseline. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, these bottles, as you can see, are rather small, they're the sample bottles that sent to us by the folks at La so You're thanks wonderful. very much, guys, for doing that. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right. We love you. First of all, the bottle, the, the color in the sample itself is a little bit darker, a little bit darker. than the other one. We've noticed that one to begin with. Sucking it out of the wood. Uh, it, there's, it says it's 30 years on here, so, well, there's another difference. And the alcohol by volume, as I mentioned before, is 46.7%, which is a little bit less. A little bit less. Let's break open the Laphroaig 30 and see if it meets expectations. Now, what are we expecting on this? Jim, first. Um, a little smoother, a little sweeter, maybe not quite as smoky, um, but a little bit more flavor because uh, it's darker. Okay. About uh, 14 more years. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's 14 years different. A little experience yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> it's an experience, guys. And Jim, what do you think is going to be the I think you're going to get a little more wood. Um, more wood. should be a little mellower. Uh, oh yeah, it's much less smoky. All right, let's do a little. Getting some more. You should get some more oak. In. Certainly, the darker yeah. color. More oak, less smoke. Yeah, yeah. Oh, smoke is, I can, I it can is smoke a little smoother smoke. on the nose. But I can smell the. You can lost some of the some of the, the cast Yeah, oh, it's yeah, it's though. much more. Uh, you can smell the, the first, smoke though. I'm still yeah, the first sip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. The smoke is knocked off of this 
this is, oh, oh no, it sneaks up at the end. It does. The smoke sneaks up, but boy, it is a nice sweet one to begin with. Oh, oh. wow, it's smooth. Wow, really, really, this is, this, yeah, wow. this is, uh, oh, okay. This is the top delayed, of the line. Uh, stuff. Definitely the same uh, reaction. There. So the, the big difference. People like us shouldn't be allowed to drink this stuff. The yeah. big difference yeah. between. You're not the, old enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to Thunderbird. So the, the big difference between the two are is that the smoke has certainly calmed down. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's certainly got really sweeter. mellow. Yeah, sweeter. Yeah, yeah. sweeter. It's more of the wood. It's smoother. You definitely get <laughs> that. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's fabulous. Are you good? That's right? good stuff. Very good. That was All right. Peter. I'm going to grab Jerry's credit card and go buy some. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to be able to with my credit oh. card. <laughs> so does uh, the Lafroy 30-year-old, the 30-year-old, does it meet expectations? It does. It does. I it does. say it exceeds expectations. I was expecting a lot. And it missed. And well, it right. But but still, it's just a more high. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, you always suspect this one of the higher end ones are only slightly yeah. better than the other ones. But lovely. This is, this is yeah. terrific. I shared it. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm Pete LaFrance for BeerBasics.com Special Friends in Fermentation. And we found that the Lafroy 30 year old certainly exceeds expectations. I'm hoping that all your beverages that you try meet expectations. Oh.